morning. So, I've been back to Ikea. Unfortunately, they only had three of the 14-inch lights. And I was lucky to find three. There were only two on the shelf, and there was one mixed in with the 17s. So, um, and then, of course, walking out of Ikea, I see a guy walking in with a cartload of Norflies of different sizes. And I'm guessing he was returning them because he couldn't get them to work. Um, so, but there may be a lot more on the shelf now. Or I'm just going to have to wait another time. So, I ended up getting uh, three just to go ahead and start the next lighting setup. Um, in theory, I don't have to do a ton of work. And I've got two potential things. So, as it goes, I can definitely get to the top one, this one, and this one. But I have a quandary. I've already drilled the holes, I've already done that stuff, so I can literally just install the light, run the wire. I could empty out the shelves and move the thing out again, or I can just move this and I can reach behind. <laughs> so part of me is like, do I take the easier route, just drop my, my uh, review curtain and then carefully move the table out of the way so I don't knock everything over like I usually do? Um, and save a little bit of time because I, that way I can literally get back there. I can do all the work behind the thing and reach everything from right there. However, I did pick up one extra thing. Pick up another little bitty puck light. This is for a very specific purpose that I'll show off later. Um, but hopefully it'll work the way I want. I believe it will. Um, just kind of another kind of custom touch to something I wanted to do. So... I'll show that off later, but for now, I have to charge the phone. It's dying. Now, like all crammed down in here. All right, guys, so for the other project, I was saying that I wanted to light up the base of this guy. So that's why I picked up this um, Omlop light. Oh, I gotta move some stuff so I can sit here. So it works with the same system as the these lights. Now, will this probably be a little too bright? Probably. 
So what I have here is the mounting ring, and I've already got my spaces there. So basically I'm going to do the inverse of what I did here. So I'm going to mount this here, drill a hole back here behind this shelf, and then he's going to sit on top of it. I've already notched for the wire. Now is that going to take up one extra space? Yep. So I'll have to figure something out in the future for that. But in the meantime, I can figure out exactly what I'm going to do here. So I've got the holes already there. What I need is drill bit so I can drill in for that. Oh, my tape for hiding wires is falling off. It's old electrical tape. It just doesn't do the thing anymore. Not sure how well I could do this. I might have to do it from the spot below. Down here on the Wonder Woman shelf. Let's see how well that works. Well, the other option is run the wire here and run up, but that's more stuff to hide when I can just drill a hole back there, which makes more sense to me. <clears throat> Got no room to work. So, and it's right about there. Okay. Oop. Just gonna go ahead and hit that. Oh, perfect. Right there, right where I wanted it. So, and actually, that's off. But it doesn't matter. I think I'll still hide it. So, give us a little room to work here. Push that through. So. Yeah, this is a situation where I'm going to have to feed it. I can't pull it. This is where it sucks that they give you so much wire. Seriously, like... That's like an 8-foot wire. <laughs> Holy crap. I should be able to get the broom out and retrieve that. So I did finish all that, as you saw through the time lapse. So that looks pretty good. You know, for a little puck light, it's actually pretty hefty. All right. So now, go back to the drill bit. Get my two screws here. Like I said, it has the wire containment there. And make sure you put the wire in first. Oh, I just realized the folly of what I just did. Son of a bitch. All right, back to that. Okay, so that's that. Finish feeding the wire through. And then just clips down into place. That's that. There's my... Okay. So that's that. It's funny thing, it, it looks super bright already. It's not even on yet. So, all of this may have been for nothing. We'll find out. As I go take an hour to retrieve that wire now. So that looks pretty cool. A little overexposed. Hopefully it just doesn't melt anything. That's my biggest concern. But it's not like I have them on all the time. 
But yeah, so that's basically it. Oh, I guess I didn't show off the Power Rangers. So there's the first three shells of the Power Rangers lit. So I'll say I'll get the rest at a later date. Um, probably when my YouTube money comes in next month. Because I just need those three lights. And obviously just hook it all up. Um, but as I just said, now I've taken up a, another spot on that rack. So that means I'm going to have to do something else. <sighs> Post these. So like, um, I can only do two more on that one. So I'll have to offset everything a little bit. Or maybe down the line, I'll have like a whole separate one. So like if I wanted to light up the drowned in the same way, I could do that. Um, I think it would look good. I think that actually adds something to it. It does make it like super bright because it's very focused. But the other option was like a battery powered magnet light that I have to pick the thing up, push the switch, all that. But I think if I actually get a dimmer for it, actually get the dimmer switch, I think it'll uh, it'll make a bit difference. But I'm going to get the rest of this cleaned up and call it a day because I've got to empty that out. Get rid of some boxes. Uh, look for any potential holes in the walls that may have been made by some not so good little friends. Um, if there's nothing, I think I'm just hoping and praying. Um, but yeah, I've got to get rid of some of these gumpo boxes and stuff like that. And then I got to do the same thing outside in our storage closet and make sure there's nothing in there. But uh, I don't need every gumpo box, I just need a good portion of them. So I can probably lose a good 20 or 30 of them out of there. And I'll just consolidate any spare parts and stuff like that and call it a day. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you do the like and subscribe thing. And I'll catch you on the next review. See you later.